Get some, baby! Yeah! All right, let's get right into it. Top of your TLC hiking club, bi-weekly, monthly vid clip, whatever you want to call it. And I guess it was on last week, so this will be weekly from last week. Anyhow, um, getting right into Saturday, this past Saturday's hike, adventure, landslide, bear grill style, mountain climb into a mountain lion's den, slash hike, if you want to call it a hike, was very interesting. Yeah. Um, it was epic. I will tip my hat to you on that, Peter. Uh, I didn't think it was uh, epic while I was in, in it. At the moment, I had other colorful language to use. <laughs> uh, but, uh, you know, looking back on it, dude, it was epic. Um, the most amazing part of it, uh, again, in the heat of the moment, was hell. Uh, but coming up, that ridge. So anyhow, let, let, let's begin. It ended up being uh, about a mile and a quarter climb near the beginning that we climbed 1,600 feet and completely exposed sun. Again, this was up in the Mare area, so it wasn't Phoenix 110, but it was probably 95. Um, we get to the top, then we're in woods, and then we ended up uh, dropping back into Grapevine Canyon. Uh, which some people were calling it the impale trail. We were impaled several times and the legs going down, sliding, bushwhacking, sliding, bushwhacking, crazy stuff. Down to Grapevine Falls and then here comes the fun part. And I, I'm calling this Mountain Lions Den Apartment Complex Ridge. <laughs> and here's why. Uh, it ended up being 1,600 feet coming back out, but done in a mile, so straight up the face of a mountain um, that was covered in chaparral, holly brush, holly trees, oak scrub, cactus, more cactus. You can see about three, four foot in front of you. That's about it. And I was punched, scraped. Bitten, stung, bitten again, scratched, cut open many times. I wonder if you can see this actually. Uh, see, it doesn't do it justice. There you go. Look at that. Look at that, look at that boy. Anyhow, look at new kicks too. Think about wearing for half dome this weekend. I don't know. They just came in the mail today. Anywho, there's the other leg. Yeah, it's more than. Uh, more than just, uh, as Johnny put it, working out in the yard. <laughs> yeah. I dumped peroxide all over my legs in the shower. That felt really good. Anyhow, back to the hike. So, as we're nearing the top of the mountain, probably two, three, four hundred feet at the most, start hitting the kind of a butte type of area. And uh, I, I roll up climbing you know, free climbing on rock, I roll right up into a mountain lion's den. Shit you not. And it's not, it wasn't a coyote's den, trust me. I've been in coyote's dens. They're much smaller. And their feet, their footprints are a lot smaller. This was a mountain lion's den. And there were several of them. Kenny Harbaugh and Pete rolled up into a couple. They were, they took the left side of the butte. I took the right side of the butte and on our way up the mountain. And you could smell the urine, very heavy urine. Uh, but yeah, it was a an all crap moment. Yeah, thank goodness there were a couple guys that were carrying. I was not one of them, but I kept thinking, my God, I hope I don't have to yell out for somebody to grab a gun because I'm staring in the face of a mountain lion. Anyhow, uh, that took two hours for everyone to come out of that trek, that one mile trek up the mountain. Um, from there we rested and then we came across Big Bug Mesa. It was just a huge mesa in, in the pines, you know, and it was pretty cool. And then we ended up having to climb up Mount uh, Union and then over Mount Union, dropping in back to Peter's Lodge where the trucks were parked. 12 miles in all, but it, it, it felt like 87 miles. And, and beat up, literally. I got punched by that branch. I kid you not, I was telling Pete about this later. I got punched. I was holding, you know, 
holding branches back so I could step around cactus and the branch let go and, s and clocked me right in the face and knocked my sunglasses off of me. Hit me so damn hard. <laughs> oh, anyhow, moving on. Thanks to all those who attended that brutality. Definitely build your character um, after the fact, of course. Uh, got home about 10 o'clock that night and the alarm rang at 5.30 that morning. Mm -hmm. um, and then, uh, let's see, moving on. Half Dome coming up, peeps. What's up? What up, boys? Yeah. And uh, so majority of us are flying out early Friday morning. There's a couple peeps flying in on Wednesday. And I think we've got uh, two robes that are actually driving in. God bless you. Wouldn't want that 12, 13 hour drive, but each to their own. Only thing I ask, don't be rolling in at freaking 9 o'clock at night, Friday night. Uh, you know, that, yeah. God bless you on that one if you do. Anyhow, Half Dome. Via the cable system, 16 miles round trip, nearly 5,000 feet in elevation gain. The last, what is it, three-quarter of a mile, half mile, whatever, is up the sheer face of a mountain, of the cliff, using the cables. Bring your gloves for those that are attending. There's 18 of us are going. We got three permits, six people at each permit. That's 18. We dialed this thing in months ago. Thank you to all of those who diligently stayed on the quest for half dome. It's not easy. Uh, not just a hike, but the whole friggin' daggum BS lottery system, blah, blah, blah. It's enough to make you vomit, thanks to. Never mind, not even going there. Uh, at the half dome. Anyhow, uh, looking forward to a great time. This coming weekend with some friends uh, should be a wonderful hike. We should be in a lot cooler weather. Uh, we'll be flying back in Sunday night, y'all. And uh, I guess that's about it. You know, it may be some time before I get a chance to come back to the camera uh, and, and dial it out. And uh, you know, but I'll try to get back for at least a quick one after half dome. Stop, man. All right, peace. We out. Have a productive week for y'all. Y'all see you at the airport on Friday morning.